let's have a look at um, CEBR, the Center for Economics and Business Research. Now look, you know, high prices expected to tumble in the you know coming months. Now you might say, Brett, why are you showing me this? You know, you're supposed to be a property guy, and you know that you're supposed to be upbeat about everything. Well, the reality is, is this possibly could happen. But the interesting thing I found with these, and forget what they say, you know, look, the, the tumble, blah blah blah, 13.8 percent lower in in uh, things. So that's their prediction. If you remember, my prediction was minus three percent last week. Now, interesting. If you look at who CBR is, it's a rare thing in economic a consultancy with a tendency to get things right. Well, these guys, I've been tracking them for ages, and in actual fact, I find that they're wrong more than they're right. As I say, most experts are wrong most of the time, but they continuously get column inches. And interestingly, if we go back to that slide, regular reports, attention-grabbing, original, newsworthy, reg regular reports. Now, for me, that's not a good thing if I'm an investor trying to listen to that. Attention-grabbing reports, newsworthy, that sounds more like they're trying to get column inches than they are trying to give you really good advice. You know, you know, UK housing bubble set to burst. Now the interesting thing with 14% hit in house prices, interestingly, if you look at most of the news, and most of you guys already know this if you've been watching me, most of the news is just rehashed stuff. So somebody produces a report and then everyone else rehashes it. This, that headline is literally based on CBR's you know, report that says that. You know, so it's interesting with this whole thing. You know, are we to believe that? Look, when you go in on their website and read the report, you know, I mean, there's perfectly valid reasons why this should happen. But I think actually, when we talk about death defying, you know, defying gravity and things like that, and you know, 14 point this drop and all this sort of stuff, my challenge with this is the one big thing that we haven't accounted for and a lot of people aren't talking about is how much liquidity there has been pumped into the market. And we're talking about around about 30%. So if you look at the entire cash, and let's call it cash, it's not technically cash, but money supply, okay, that was in there, it's increased about 30% in 2020, yeah? Now that's incredible, that's unprecedented. So most people would say that's gonna cause massive inflation, yeah? But it's only gonna cause massive inflation if it's, you know, they put too much in, you know, if that's what the economy needs to stay where it is, then that's what it needs. Now, the trick is, is how do you come out the other end and grow? And that, I think, is having one of the challenges that we will we'll talk about.